Do you like the outdoors? You like putting a little lead down range and safe neighborhoods? If you said yes, move to Idaho. Today we're continuing our series on the most moved to states and we find ourselves in the gem state, Idaho. Idaho is another state that's been popular for a few dozen years and for good reason. The state has a lot going for a lot of different people. Idaho is a state that's run well, and you don't hear many negative things about this state. Sure, you'll have some people that always find something negative to say about everything. That's just what they do. You gotta take them with a grain of salt. But compared to most states, Idaho is an amazing place to live. For proof of that, they've never had a negative census, ever. In the 1990s, Idaho got really popular and they gained 28% in the 2000 census. That popularity continued in the 2010 census, they gained another 21%. In 2020, they dropped a little bit down to 17%. Those are solid numbers and it's really an indication that the state is a great place to live. In 2021, they gained almost 3.5% and so far this year, the first nine months of 2022, it looks like they've gained 4%. So today we're looking at the reasons why so many people are moving to Idaho in 2022. And probably it's gonna continue in 2023. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, wine, beer, and food. Now this one alone isn't going to make a lot of people just pick up and move to another state. But it is a nice little add-on to a lot of people that are interested in Idaho. The Gem State has some of the finest wine in the United States. I mean, it's up there with California, Oregon, New York. Those are always in the top 10 for wine producing states. The microbrew or craft brew scene in Boise, Moscow, and Coeur d'Alene is respectable. When you bring up food, they're big on this farm to table. Farm to table or farm to fork in some cases or farm to school, some people call it, is a social movement which promotes serving local food at restaurants and school cafeterias, preferably through direct acquisition from the producers. Now this might include wineries, breweries, ranch, fisheries, and other types of food producers, not just an actual farm. This is another smart move by the people of Idaho. I mean, it helps their local economy. Number nine, they like their guns. Idaho is very much a gun-friendly state. It's actually considered the second most gun-friendly state right behind the cowboy state of Wyoming. I mean, if you're called the cowboy state, you really should be the number one gun-friendly state, right? If you're the cowboy state, you could also be the hard-drinking, infrequent showering state too. But Idaho definitely likes its guns, and if that bothers you, I'd suggest not moving to Idaho. Number eight, the economy is booming. Every single year in the last decade or so, Idaho has shown up as one of the top 10 states for economy. It depends on what study you've seen, but recently I've seen it at number three and I've also seen it at number five. They always have a really low unemployment. Whatever's going on nationally, they're usually a little bit below the average. According to US News Best States Ranking, Idaho is also the number one spot for economic growth, and it ranks fourth for fiscal stability. Idaho is also known as a very business-friendly state, so a lot of companies don't mind moving there and setting up shop. This, of course, will lead to a continuation of a lower than average unemployment rate. If you have a low unemployment rate, that leads to a lot of other nice things like a low crime rate, low poverty rate. People getting paid means the local economy continues to thrive. Number seven, plenty of outdoors. When it comes to outdoor type activities, Idaho is probably ranked fourth, at least in my book. A lot of people see it as number two or number three. I think it's number four. Colorado is number one. Montana is number two. Maine is number three. And I think Idaho comes in number four. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Idaho attracts millions of people every single year just to come here and be tourists. Go to the outdoors, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, whitewater rafting, fishing, camping, mountain biking, hunting, heavy drinking, and blowing stuff up. It all happens in Idaho. Another big one they have in Idaho, which a lot of people don't consider unless you're a horse person, but a lot of people like to go horseback riding in Idaho. It's kind of a big thing. Take your horse and go camping. Number six, real estate. When it comes to real estate, Idaho is doing pretty good. They're actually ranked as the 17th most expensive state, which is not bad for a very desirable state. Usually if you want lower than that, you're moving to a state that nobody wants to move to. Mississippi and Arkansas have much lower prices. Who wants to live in Mississippi or Arkansas? But when it comes to states that are desirable, Idaho's doing pretty good 
for real estate prices. Like every other state, their prices have jumped since 2020. So even though the prices are going up, there's going to be people that want to argue with me. No, the prices are outrageous now. Well, everyone's prices are outrageous. We don't compare to what it was in 2020. We compare it to other states to see how good it's doing. As an example, in October, of 2020, the median listing price in Idaho was $334,000. In October of 2022, it's 471,000. The most expensive state being Hawaii in October of 2020, they were 670,000 for their median listing price and right now they're at 910,000. And that's how just about every single state looks. So, even though your prices are going up, so is everyone else. Now, I say that here in early November 2022, prices are starting to dip a little bit. And if there's a major drop, please don't correct me. Look at the upload date of this video before you make some comment. What are you talking about? Those aren't the prices. I'll get people like that. I've had videos I did four years ago and I talk about the price of some real estate, you know, city or something like that. And someone will, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. The prices are like $150,000 more. Yeah, because the video was done in 2018. Number five, it's environmentally friendly. Now, this one might surprise a lot of people. Stereotypically, red states, which Idaho is, they don't really care too much about the environment. That seems to go towards the more liberal democratic states. They're a little more environmentally conscious. Idaho's not like the rest of the red states. They care a lot about their environment. And it's not just the residents who are environmentally friendly. The entire state is. Idaho has a very clean environment with a higher than average air quality and sparkling clean water. Idaho is ranked 11th in the nation for environmental quality and that's done by the EPA. Other studies have them as second in the nation. These studies check out things like air quality, water quality, the amount of trash buried per capita, the amount of waste produced each year, a bunch of other factors. Like I said, people in Idaho like to be outdoors and it's a great place for it. So I think that has a lot to do with why they keep it so clean and they're on board with a lot of these environmentally friendly programs. Number four, tax friendly. Yes, Idaho is a very tax friendly state. They're actually ranked 40th in the nation for overall tax burden by WalletHub. I don't want to get all into the numbers because that kind of slows down a video, but I will tell you this. California state taxes are much higher compared to Idaho's. For example, California sales tax is currently at 7.5. That changes sometime down the line. Don't give me a hard time. This is the numbers as of October 2022. Anyway, so 7.5. In some areas, it goes all the way up to 10%. Municipalities have their own tax sometimes. In Idaho, sales tax is only 6%. Municipalities can only raise it one more percent, so seven max. When it comes to state income tax, they're kind of middle of the road with 6.925%. On average, California, on the other hand, can be anywhere from 1% to 12.3%. And a majority of the people are up over 10%. Number three, light on the traffic. Idaho doesn't have much traffic. It's actually considered very mild compared to most states, even in the bigger cities like Boise, Twin Falls, Idaho Falls, and even up to Moscow. The traffic is kind of mild. Last time I brought this up, I had a bunch of people talking about how bad the traffic was in Boise. You're delusional. Get out of the state, visit other places, and see what real traffic is like. It'll be eye-opening, I promise. Go to Boston. Go to San Francisco, go to Los Angeles, cry on the 405 freeway for 20 minutes. In that 20 minutes, you won't move. You'll be at a dead stop on the 405 freeway or the 110 in Los Angeles. If you think having to slow down to 35 miles an hour on the freeway for 10 minutes is rough, you have no idea how bad it can get. The U.S. Census found that the average travel time to work for workers in Idaho was 21.1 minutes. That's less than the national average of 27 minutes. Number two, it's safe. Imagine that, all those guns and they're safe. Idaho ranks 10th in the nation with the lowest violent crime rate and they rank third in the nation for property crime. Overall, they're ranked eighth. Not a lot of bad things happen in Idaho. All right, before we get to number one, if you're looking to move to Idaho and you need a real estate agent, there's a link for Home and Money down below. It's a website that'll get you in touch with a real estate agent anywhere in the country. They also have a lot of other things on the website to help you get a new home, get a real estate agent, find out about mortgages, all that good stuff. All right, on to number one. And number one, Californians have slowed down. 
Yep, for the longest time, Californians were moving to Idaho en masse. That has slowed down considerably in the last three years. Now, that is still the largest percentage of people moving from any individual state. It's always gonna be California, just because California has so many people, and Idaho is a very appealing place to move to. But Californians have kind of shifted their focus. The top five cities in the nation that Californians are moving to right now are Dallas, Texas, Austin, San Marcos, Texas, metro area, Chicago, Illinois, oddly enough, Atlanta, Georgia, which that one's not much of a surprise if you know anything about the movie industry or television industry. A lot of the people who worked in Hollywood for many, many years have kind of moved to Atlanta. Boise, Coeur d'Alene, and Portland, Oregon have fallen out of the top 10 most moved to cities for Californians in recent years. Portland, I understand. It's been a nightmare for about five or six years. Boise and them, I just think to a lot of Californians, it's kind of played out. And I think Texas is more of a focus these days, which is good news for anyone who was born and raised in Idaho. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.